I made so many videos about Freestyle Libre, but 47% of you still feels that you are failing to use Libre effectively or simply failing managing your blood sugars. So I'm gonna share with you four reasons why I think so many people still feel they are failing and how to fix it. Let's go. The most common complaint I hear is that your readings from Freestyle Libre are way off. But if you are comparing them to your glucometer readings, they actually should be different. Because Freestyle Libre takes the readings from interstitial fluid, glucometer takes them directly from blood. And these are two different methods. The blood glucose is always ahead of the sensor glucose, which Abbott nicely illustrates with this train. The first car of the train is your blood glucose, and the second car is your sensor glucose. So when your glucose is raising, your glucometer will show a higher number than your Libre sensor and when your glucose is falling your glucometer will show a lower number than your sensor and there are other factors that can throw off the accuracy of your Libre readings. Insertion trauma during the first several hours after sensor insertion, sudden temperature changes, compression loss where you lie on the sensor or excessive intake of vitamin C and I thought vitamin C was good for me. By the way no measuring device is 100% accurate and we already know that. Both your sensor and your glucometer can be up to 15 to 20 percent of the reference reading that you would get from a laboratory test and as you can see if they are both off in a different direction it can lead to quite a big difference so keep that in mind if the tips i just gave you don't really help and your libre readings are still way off then consider an off-label calibration tool more in this video here or simply contact abbott and claim a free replacement for any inaccurate sensors they're usually pretty good about giving you a new one although abbott is proudly advertising that freestyle libre is designed to replace the need for routine finger pricks. If you read the small print, you will see that finger pricks are required if glucose readings and alarms do not match symptoms or expectations. But they don't say that you should check every time, every single reading, which I feel like many people are trying to do and compare and have exactly the same number. Don't do that doesn't make any sense. The second reason why many Freestyle Libre users still feel like they're failing is that they don't see real improvements in their blood sugar control. With Freestyle Libre you see what your blood sugar is doing 24-7 and it can be quite stressful to see all those spikes after meal or even some night lows that you had no idea about. With the glucometer you didn't see all that. You only saw a number of isolated points that might have looked okay but your blood sugar was in fact a roller coaster. You just didn't capture it. Freestyle Libre gives you a tremendous amount of additional information. It shows you what happens with your blood sugar after every meal and after every physical activity. And it can help you find ways to adjust your meals and daily routines that will keep your blood sugar in the ideal range. But please don't put too much emphasis on a one-off number that you see on the screen. Don't overreact. Don't take a huge shot of insulin just because the number is a bit higher than you expected. Always look at the arrow first because the arrow shows you a predicted future trend. If the number is high and the arrow is pointing up, for example, it means that your blood sugar is still rising. In that case, you might want to take an action. But if the number is high and the arrow is already pointing down, it means that your blood sugar is already falling and maybe you don't need to do anything. It might be just fine in a couple hours, even without your intervention. I feel like many new and even experienced CGM users overestimate the importance of the immediate number they see on the screen and they overreact. They want to get it to perfect number as soon as possible. And this behavior sends them from sky high numbers to very low numbers where they need to treat a hypoglycemia. And when they treat the hypoglycemia, this sends them back to sky high numbers again. If you feel like you are one of those who is riding this blood sugar roller coaster sometime, please do me a favor. Hit that like button and look how many likes this video has. You are not alone. In fact, long-term trends are much more important than the immediate blood sugar number that you see on the screen. Try to look at them every week or at least every month in the daily pattern section of your Libre app. Is your blood sugar too high every afternoon? Well, maybe you should eat less carbs for lunch or maybe you should take more medication during that period. If you see those trends, definitely talk about them with your doctor. Another two reasons why many Freestyle Libre users are failing is that their skin simply doesn't cooperate with the sensor adhesive. Let me explain. Some people have no or very little issues with the sensor not sticking or their skin getting irritated. But if your sensor doesn't stick well and keeps falling off, 
I have a couple ideas for you. First, find a flat spot that is well protected from any external objects that could tear your sensor off. For some people it might be the back side of the arm, for some people it might be the inner side. Usually it's not the outer side, where the sensor is more exposed. Second, make sure that you are applying Libre on a perfectly clean and dry skin. Clean it with alcohol and let it dry at least a minute. And third, take advantage of an extra adhesive. I recently discovered these colorful X-shape patches, which have a non sticky area in the middle of the patch that you place over the top of your sensor. This way the patch doesn't stick to your sensor and is very easy to take off without pulling the sensor out. They even have this tiny hole in the middle to make sure that the patch doesn't cover the hole in the middle of the Libre sensor used for regulating humidity and temperature. And that's very cool, I was honestly pleasantly surprised with these patches. These patches are called Not Just a Patch and the guys at Not Just a Patch also make skin glue which you can apply directly to your skin to make it more sticky and skin glee adhesive remover which will help you to peel off the patch easier. So big thanks to the guys at Not Just a Patch, not only for sponsoring this video but also giving all of you who are watching 10% discount when you use my discount link in the description below. Another skin issue some Libre users have been dealing with is skin irritation or even skin allergy. I've seen so many pictures like this one. And one thing you can do to reduce the skin irritation is applying a barrier spray like Cavillon before you apply the sensor or using a different type of adhesive that you are not allergic to as a middle layer. If you already developed some kind of skin irritation or skin allergy, then the product most people use to get rid of it is called Flonase. And the last product I will mention here is the CeraVe Moisturing Cream. And this one can really help repair your skin faster after any damage caused by the sensor adhesive. Another reason why many Freestyle Libre users give up are error messages. Way too many error messages, way too often. And I think the most frequent and the most annoying one is scan again in 10 minutes. This one usually happens when your blood sugars have been moving erratically. Not erotically. Erratically. Erratic. Not erotic. Got it? It can also happen when the data coming from the sensor are all over the place and the algorithm simply can't deal with that. This can also happen due to sudden temperature changes coming out of sauna or a cold shower or due excessive pressure on the sensor when you have been lying on it for example. The reader is basically saying hmm this data looks really weird. This can't be right. So if you feel that your blood sugar has been really moving very fast, calm down, relax, wait 10 minutes and then scan again. Don't scan too many times at once because this will only make things worse. But waiting 10 minutes doesn't always help. One thing I tried in the past was squeezing and pinching the muscles in the area just around the sensor. And a couple times this actually helped. If this doesn't help then the option you always have is calling Abbott and claiming a free replacement. I know it's not ideal but at least you don't lose any money you already spent on your sensor if you're paying out of pocket. As I said, Abbott is pretty good about replacing these failed sensors. The thing is, if you really want to take full advantage of all Freestyle Libre functions and features and improve your blood sugar control, you need to know much more than what is written on the official leaflet or what doctors and diabetes educators usually tell you. In fact, there are 10 things that helped me tremendously that I hadn't been told before I started using my first sensor. And that's why you should not ignore this video where I share all 10 of these tips and hacks. So click it and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao!